Save our planet. Global fish populations closer to collapse than previously thought. New research published in the journal Nature by a team of international scientists has shown that a widely used indicator of marine biodiversity called trophic level may have overestimated fish populations. With nearly half of the ecosystems evaluated for this study found to be in poorer health than previously thought, lead author Professor Trevor Branch of the University of Washington in the USA explained that trophic level calculations incorrectly assume that human fishing practices start with the largest species. However, as seen in places like the Gulf of Thailand, where smaller species have been fished extensively, this is not true. There, the average trophic level is rising, which in principle means an improving ecosystem. But in fact, all types of marine life have decreased by tenfold since the 1950s due to overfishing. Commenting on the report's findings, U.S. National Science Foundation biologist Dr. Henry Goltz said, This study makes clear that the most common indicator, average catch trophic level, is a woefully inadequate measure of the status of marine fisheries. Our appreciation, Dr. Branch, Dr. Goltz, and the international team of scientists for this updated alert on the actual predicament of many marine ecosystems. May we swiftly choose more considerate lifestyles to save the inhabitants of both land and sea. During an interview published in the December 16, 2009 edition of the Irish Dog Journal, Supreme Master Ching Hai addressed the alarming depletion of the oceans and the need to restore their balance. By the way, fishing is also horrendously wasteful and murderous. A major study predicts that all fished animals will be 90% gone by 2050 due to overfishing and overwasting by catch, I mean those fish and other marine lives that they don't need, but while catching all the fish, they kill them as well by the billions. Moreover, it is such an alarming picture when we think about the billions of animals killed each year for so-called food. 55 billion, which is not even counting fish and other species. How can our planet and our conscience support such unsustainable, damaging, and criminal practice? Individuals must turn to the planet saving organic vegan lifestyle because the dangers are mounting and time is urgent. If every one of us would only switch now, we will ensure a future for our children and generations to come.